Hey guys, this is your reading for the new moon in Leo. This is good for all signs. It's for the collective. Uh, let me give you, I'm going to jump right in, talk to you about it. Um, this will be a little bit shorter. I know I said that yesterday for the um, August 2024 Love Tarot Energy Update. If you missed that, go watch that because I went into very extensive detail for all of the astrology for the month of August, which there's a lot and there's some drama, so you're gonna wanna watch it. Um, but the new moon is kind of lovely, so I'm going to keep it um, kind of cheap and cheerful. And because I'm sort of in the eye of the tropical storm you may have been hearing about here on the east coast of, um, well, east west coast of Florida. So um, I've got some prep to do for that. Anyway, we have got on uh, the 4th, the new moon in Leo, 7.13 a.m. Um, east coast, eastern time at 13 degrees of the sign of Leo. And the new moon in Leo offers like this fresh start energy as all new moons do in the areas of creativity, self-expression, and romance. Yes. So it, new moons is when we set intentions. So you want to set some bold intentions that align with your passions and your heart's desires. Um, embrace that energy of a new beginning. If it's one that you, you know, that if that speaks to you, new beginnings and new beginnings with confidence, it, whether it's new love or a new beginning with, um, you know, the one who has captured your heart. Now, if you're in need of some self-care, the prescription is to create like a vision board um, or write down your intentions to manifest your most passionate romantic dreams. Uh, let me give you some themes to work with. Playfulness, right? Think of some lion cubs playing around. Pleasure. I know I have to keep it safe for the platform, but right? Owning your own hotness, uh, right? Embodying your inner diva, trusting your divine creativity, having way more fun, uh, you know, because we're things have been a little serious lately. So wh whatever it is that you used to put a smile on your face and a giggle, in, you know, in your throat, get back to that. Have way more fun. Breaking your own rules and everybody else's. Using laughter as medicine. Boy, do I need more of that. Practicing radical self-love. Uh, embodying your regal energy right straighten your crown kind of a thing and being unapologetically authentic and remembering that that is sexy af right your authenticity and even when it's a little quirky that shit is sexy yeah pe that people like that so since you know you don't have to have any leo in your chart but you know we we all have a, a fifth house and leo rules the fifth house so, uh, you know, we all have a little bit of Leo in us somehow, some way, and take ownership of that. So this new moon doesn't have anything that I have seen in any of um, my curated, like I go to all my favorite astrologers and look at what they're saying about the new moon. I didn't see anybody say anything negative about this new moon. So I didn't feel the need to go to any great details. That is what I'm talking about for this new moon. That's it, that's, that's it, four minutes. Like I said, cheap and cheerful. So I'm just gonna pull the spread. We'll see what comes through. You know, uh, I do like to go to an extended to go through all the signs and um, so that you can then dive deeper for how you might want, you know, what you might want to set some intentions around. That is good for all signs, um, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for you and your divine counterpart. The link to that is in the description box below. We do have... <laughs> crazy cat we do have lion's gate coming up on 8 8 and this year it's 8 8 8 because 2024 is an eight year so i have been offering a lion's gate special for my private readings 88 dollars off that link is also below and that offer is still good um though those readings would be delivered more toward the end of the month but if you're interested 
check that out. Okay. And thanks for all of you who put up with my, who boy, was I um, in agony yesterday for the uh, August 2024 reading, but it was intense, but a lot of you came through with uh, some pretty helpful messages. So if you missed it, check it out. All right. New moon in Leo. My cat's name is Leo. So he's hearing me say it over and over and he thinks he's in trouble. <laughs> oh, I like it. We're starting with the three of cups, overall energy. What's challenge, what's crossing that? Well, the page of pentacles is fresh start energy. Okay, so we're looking at the three of cups. I'm, I'm gonna just say that, you know, because I'm trying to give you my general impression, there might be a coming back together. There might be an opportunity for some kind of reconciliation or a cause for celebration. And the challenge here is if we're open to a fresh start and what do we need to learn around that? Queen of cups and unconscious awareness. Yes, we kind of got to open our heart to it. In the past, hanged man, things may be on hold. Some of you may feel things have grown a bit stagnant. Conscious awareness, nine of cups, all about the wish fulfillment. Hmm. And in the near future, six of swords, moving to calmer waters. Yes, um, getting some peace of mind. Spirits talking to you about the Wheel of Fortune. That's Jupiter, your person here in the Hidden Energies, Eight of Swords. They might be a little stuck right now, overthinking things. Nine of Wands in the um, outcome position. The opportunity is to continue to push through perseverance. Wow. All right, let's do this. Three of Cups, Page of Pentacles. Whoop. There's the manifestation of the magician, judgment, second chances, there's romance. I love it. Okay, so um, as I'm seeing this, we're manifesting reunion, re uh, reconciliation, second chances, forgiveness, a, a romantic return, a fresh start. All of the above. Yeah. Put it on your vision board. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, New Moon and Leo. And yes, the, the fresh start is, is what's crossing us because we kind of really have to get, we have to get this part. This is what we have to get very clear in our mind's eye, right? We have to see this so clearly right as if it already exists because it really does in the, in the highest timeline it does so it's as if it already exists so that the fresh start of it all is what we're manifesting but we kind of have to see it real super clearly so that it's no biggie no mas queen of cups in the unconscious awareness. Yeah, it's tough to have an open heart when you feel you've been either, you know, forsaken or devalued in some way. It's hard to be vulnerable. Oh, it's hard to feel safe. It's hard to feel safe and protected in your vulnerability when you've been vulnerable and then you feel like, you know, what am I, chopped liver? <laughs> This is what my mother, the triple Leo, used to say. If I came flying past her and dropped all my stuff off on the floor and kept going to whoever it was that was over at the house, and she'd like, big frown on her face, what am I, chop liver? <laughs> That's what I think of when I see the five of pentacles. Yeah. No, something has left you feeling pretty rejected, you know, cast aside. The sun here is not coming through as happiness. It's coming through as something that, you know, really challenged your happiness, really compromised it, left you not feeling safe and protected in your vulnerability. 
and underneath is the lover's card and so what you're processing internally is that choice is you have to choose this connection of your own free will you have to you know choose uh, this the forgiveness you have to choose to be open to have an open heart for second chances you have to answer the call and say yeah i'm open to a fresh start I do want the happiness. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So hanged man in the past. Six of swords again, which is coming in the future. Four of swords and the star. Um, the hanged man in the past with the six of swords there, I feel like the pressing of pause gave you some perspective. Uh, and things may have grown stagnant for some of you, but uh, right now I'm seeing whatever kind of stopped moving, whatever pause there was, this temporary standstill, gave you perspective of where the healing was needed. Oh, little Leo, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, so it may be a, 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 fo a twist of focus for you. Hanged man always gives us focus. We're waiting for some enlightenment and then we're like, oh, I see now where some healing is needed, where, where, where I can get the peace of mind. So that may be what has happened here. Nine of cups in your conscious awareness is now the focus is on some wish fulfillment. something that makes you jump for joy where you feel blessed yes temperance six of wands more reconciliation the bookends of the nine of cups how lovely and there's like this flow state that you're in about it right now now you see now you've maybe taken care of your own healing and it's probably still in process because I'm looking at what's what you're working through internally, right? In your unconscious awareness, there's still some stuff you're processing. There's still a little re residual discomfort, but it isn't holding you back and you still have time and you're kind of going with the flow and there is a, a state of optimism here, right? An openness to some reconciliation, to some compromise, to meeting in the middle. I like it. And in your unconscious awareness and your conscious awareness, it's all about like, yeah, I'm ready to feel good about something here in this connection. Like to come through it and feel like, yes, I got mine. I got mine. So in the near future, six of swords. I got mine. I like that because the seven of wands comes through as I know what I want. I'm taking a stand for what I want. Now that I have some peace of mind, I'm moving to calmer waters. I'm leaning into it. And here it is. Right there's like the passion part that I was talking about with this new moon. The, the, the manifestation of what's coming charging to you. Love and passion and romance. with the soulmate. I like it. And then spirits talking to you about divine timing. So let's see that wheel. Death card, four of cups, two of wands. So it is, it is like the timing is right for for those things that kind of have to be released. The death card does talk about endings, of course, but it's not always a dramatic thing. Sometimes it's about things we've been holding on to. Yeah. Things that have left us not feeling safe and protected 
in our vulnerability. Right? And I'm not saying that it isn't legitimate, but I'm saying it's something that you're aware that needs to be healed. And so the time may be right because maybe that feeling of rejection, it's kind of time to release it so you can kind of grow from it and transform beyond it. There's something that I feel the timing is right for growth, change, and transformation. Because you are coming to a moment where it's time to choose the path forward. Um, you don't want to miss an opportunity, and this person doesn't want to miss an opportunity. We're talking about the two. The twos are all choices. The lover's card is a card of choice. The two of cups is a card of choice. The two of wands is a card of choice. The Spirit's telling you the time is right. This is your, the, the, you're destined here for a, a different path. And so there's something that has to be released first because that path is beginning to make itself apparent. Now your person here in the hidden energy, we've got some, like the, what you can't see is the Eight of Swords. And that is what's holding them back overthinking, second guessing, self-limiting beliefs. <laughs> Catastrophizing. Mm -hmm. And what do they need to do? See, while you're over here and Spirit's talking about things that need to be left behind and you need to release your, your feelings of rejection, they need to literally release and, and take a leap because they're stuck in a catastrophizing loop. Look, it's a king of pentacles. Someone who has great capacity for something more committed, more, um, you know, someone who can be depended upon, someone who can show up for you and be more reliable and be an equal partner if they would just kind of lighten up and and take that leap do you see the difference in these in these energies so you're both kind of in your own way a little bit a little bit and it's not because Something hasn't happened that was legitimately the cause. But whatever it was, that was then. You're not going back there. So deal with this in the moment now. This, this, this new moon in Leo is giving you every reason to come up with some creative ways to part with that. Mm-hmm to put the pretty, fancy, beautiful bow on all the ish and send it sailing somewhere else. Can you tell I have four Leo placements <laughs> in my chart? <laughs> okay. So where are we heading with all of this, right? What's the opportunity here? Nine of Wands. Aha. Yeah, I don't think there's any escape. There is only pushing through. And there is this energy, I feel, same person, King of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands. It's all Emperor energy. And you see that Seven of Swords. It is definitely a, 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 an energy of somebody who tends to want to escape. Because they, they catastrophize. They, you know, get 
all stuck up in their head and then they're like, no, nope, where's the exit? Where's the exit? They're avoidant. But this opportunity is for this person to push through, to persevere, to not give up, to not quit, to not take the easy way out. And then what happens? They get to unburden themselves. But the same message goes for you. Is to not close off your heart, to not harden your heart because of past issues, past rejections, past slights to your honor and integrity. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, to not question intentions out of um, suspicions. Because mm -hmm. there's an opportunity if you push through, nine of wands. If you persevere, nine of wands. If you tough it out, and don't quit and don't give up on this connection. The opportunity is to finally let it all go. Not just release, but relief is available to you in this connection, to you and your beloved. That's what I see. So, happiest of new moons to all, <laughs> new moons in Leo to all of you. I'm going to give you the astrology that showed up right here. The link to the extended is in the description box below. If you have any of the memberships, the all access pass or any of the individual Zodiac sign monthly memberships, the ones that renew, you have to go to moments.com and you will already have access to this because that's part of the dealio. So don't click on the link and buy this because you don't need to you already have it it comes with your membership that's why you do the membership but if you don't have any of those this is there the link is below um also the link to the um lion's gate 88 dollars off my private reading regular rate is in the description box below and if you enjoyed this and if you've been watching my readings for any length of time and you haven't already please subscribe below uh, been been asking for that for a while now just to kind of keep the channel in the YouTube algorithmic <laughs> you know in, in their little viewfinder um, so that I can keep growing the channel that is the only way I can stay here so please do subscribe like share if you feel called to do so thank you for those of you who have really gone to extraordinarily extraordinary lengths to help me by going into all the videos and liking and commenting. I love you for that. You bring smiles to my face while I'm sitting up at midnight, one o'clock in the morning, seeing you showing up there. Yeah, I feel like we're best friends. Um, really, thank you. Okay, so before I cry, here we go. Page of Pentacles. Horse Virgo, Capricorn. Magician is Mercury, which goes retrograde on the 4th as well. I know. Buckle up. Um, and in the sign of Virgo. So Mercury, uh, the magician. Mercury rules Virgo and Gemini. Um, judgment, Pluto rules Scorpio. The lovely Knight of Cups is Pisces. Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy. The sun is the sun rules Leo. The lover's card is Gemini. The hanged man is Neptune, rules Pisces. We have the star is Aquarian energy. Temperance is Sagittarian energy. Um, Knight of Wands, Sagittarius. The wheel of fortune is Jupiter, which rules Sagittarius. The death card, Scorpio. Tower is Mars, which rules Aries. King of Pentacles is Taurus, and the um, Fool is the planet Uranus, which rules Aquarius. Emperor is Aries. That's what I have for you, and I know we went fast, but I got a lot to do. If you do not see me on the 4th, it's because we're underwater here. So I'm going to do my best to come in, but, you know, people sneeze in this town and I lose my power. So 
I'll do everything I can, but keep watching videos. Thank you so much. Happy, happy, happy um, to birth. Uh, happy birthday to Leo's sons and new moon blessings to all. Bye for now.